A exceptionally useful gadget is the physics tweaker. It's designed to work in unison with other object tweaker gadgets so the most dynamic and dazzlingly effective objects can be produced. The physics tweaker allows you to adjust the different characteristics of a dynamic object. How heavy do you want it to be? How much friction does it have? That sort of thing. They also have driving properties too. An exciting feature which allows you to adjust what it's like to drive on the surface of the object. Slip governs how slippery the object is, so the thrills and spills of winter racing are called into being. Drag governs the rate at which a driver slows down. That's quite a hairy one if you set it right. Rumble controls the amount of the rumble in your controller, which enhances the driving experience. And there's more. In the special properties section is the most special thing. Grabability. Set it to on and you can make an object grabbable. Have a faff on with it all. It's the best way to learn. Why not add some movers and rotators, which are unique object tweaker gadgets to make the object do unexpected and whimsical things? Remember, they only work with dynamic objects, and in order for them to function, the object's dynamic tweak must be set to on. The thruster tweaker is a workhorse of a gadget and applies a constant force to an object. You can choose exactly where upon an object's person that force is applied. Also, whether or not the force rotates with the object or remains constant. We also have a rotator tweaker for your delectation. It works in a similar way to the rotate motor, but is specifically for dynamic objects. You can adjust the direction of the rotation by tweaking the output values. Positive? is clockwise, and negative is counterclockwise. Personally, I find magnets repulsive, but that's a polar problem of mine. You might like them. The little big planet magnet adds force to an object. Set its polarity in the tweak menu. Positive is an attractive force, and negative is a repulsive force. You can also set the distance at which it affects other objects around it and the outcome of those effects. If you want the magnetized object to only affect a specific object, you can designate a tag. I've always wanted to use the word gyroscope, but I've never had the opportunity until now. The gyroscope works like the look-at motor, but is geared for dynamic objects. You have the option to set a specific target for it to look at or a specific orientation that it'll always rotate to. You can also set whether or not the object always points at a positive or negative output from its target orientation, gyroscopically speaking. Oh, gyroscopically. Never said that before either.